sleep well. Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with the lengthy posting of Skyrim videos. Yeah, um, I may get back to Red Dead Redemption. Right now, I have so much Skyrim footage. I've been trying to put the videos together and, well, it's like I have six Skyrim videos for every Red Dead Redemption video. Part of it is due to the fact that Red Dead Redemption missions take much longer. And the fast travel, even though it works, it's not as good as Skyrim. But I digress. I may be posting other videos real soon. If you saw the New Year's video, if not, there will probably be some Grand Theft Auto videos coming out with this. And maybe even some Assassin's Creed Valhalla videos. But I digress. This is joining the Assassin's Guild and the process you go through if you decide to join the Assassin's Guild. At some point, if you're talking to innkeepers, you will hear a rumor about Aventus Aretino in Windhelm who is performing the Black Sacrament. Then it's true, what everyone is saying, that Aventus Aretino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimbar, always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine, then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child, wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha! Huh, then I'm right, I knew it! He's trying to have somebody killed! All right, I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Oratino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. You're going to have to pick the lock in order to get into the house. And it's a novice lock, so it's relatively easy-ish. But once you get into the house, you will meet Aventus, and he will explain what he's doing. Or you'll see him performing the Black Sacrament, and he will explain what he's doing. To me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. So, very tired. Please, how long must I do this? I keep praying, Night Mother. Why won't you answer me? Sweet Mother, sweet. Finally! It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things, and then you came! An assassin from the Dark Brotherhood! It took so long, so very long. But now that you're here, you can accept my contract. My mother, she, she died. I, I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften, Honor Hall. The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind, but she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here. And you could kill Grelob the Kind! Sorry. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. One of the things in Skyrim is you can't really kill children. So you either accept or you turn it down, more than likely you're going to end up accepting. And you have to go to Riften to kill Ruella, or whatever it is. And she's just this angry old scold who, well, treats children badly. And, well, you really don't feel too bad about killing her. 
I'm selling the best meat in town for cheap. Interested? Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes sir. Yes, and one more thing. Options. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. Ah! It's Grella. Killing Grellad puts in to motion a series of events. You can travel back to Windhelm and talk to Aventus and let him know she is dead. And you have done as he requested. And again, a series of events is set into motion. Well, Grohog the Kind, is she, you know... Aha! I knew you could do it! I just knew it! I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me! Here, just like I promised, this should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again! Yes, I took the wheel of goat cheese. He gives you a silver platter or some family heirloom. Now that Gruella or Grelod is dead, what will happen is you will meet a courier who will end up handing you a message within at least a game day or so of your killing Grelod. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. The note has the symbol of the Dark Brotherhood. A black handprint with a hole in it. And we know. Now, once you get this note within a day or so, or simply when you actually go to sleep, uh, you will be abducted by the Dark Brotherhood. So I'm going to send my character to bed, and we will see what happens here. It really doesn't matter how long you rest. Um, set it for about eight hours. Either way, this happens. You go to black and you wake up with what could be a hangover. Sleep well. Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight, hmm, problem. You see, that little Eratino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now, that's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on, see if you can figure it out. Make your choice, make your kill. I just want to observe. 
and admire. Am I to take your silence as acceptance? Then you know where we stand. Make your kill and we're square. Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. It really doesn't matter which one of these three are killed. I just took the one I felt was the worst one and killed him because you have to kill someone and it doesn't matter. Dragged. Me? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> the real question is, would someone pay to have me killed again? A day goes by without someone trying to cut me in the street. I get disappointed. Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Have you not heard of me? Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. Tell you what, you release me and I promise my associates will not hunt you down like an animal and butcher you in the street. It Get is a weird... these things off of me. Excuse me, what kind of question is that? I'm a woman living in Skyrim with six children and no husband. I don't have the time or the patience to be... Nice. Do some people look down on me? Have I made some enemies? You're damn right. None of your damn business who I am. If you're going to kill me, just do it already. Esmara is my witness. If I didn't have this hood on right now, I would spit right in your face. I don't have time for this nonsense. I've got a home I, to keep in children. I can hear you talking out there. What? Out of here. Oh, God. I, I don't want to die. Okay, well, I guess it's possible. I've been selling my sword arm for years now. It kills a lot of people. Could be someone wanted revenge. But, uh, but you're not going to kill me, right? My name is Fulltime. I'm a soldier. Well, mercenary, really. You know, a, a, a sellsword. I've lived in Skyrim all my life. That's all. I'm a nobody, really. So, can't you just let me go? Uh, uh, what did I do? Uh, please, whatever it is, I'm sorry. The anticipation is killing me. Can you figure out who has the contract? Again, it doesn't really matter. I just picked the person I felt was the worst out of the group and killed them. And you will now see my decision. Come now. The conniving Khajiit. Cat like that was sure to have enemies. It's no wonder you chose him. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you understand? Guilt, innocence, right, wrong? Irrelevant. What matters is I ordered you to kill someone, and you obeyed. Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family. The Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road hidden from view. When questioned by the black door, answer with the correct passphrase, silence my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. I'll see you at home.
the victims don't have really anything on them. Uh, you can pick up a execution hood if you want, but I'm just going to leave the stuff here. Um, you can join the Dark Brotherhood at any point. You don't have to go outside of Falkareth right away and join them. You can join them at any point. What happens is it stops assassins from trying to kill you. But I digress. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave comments if it was helpful. I post four videos about video games every week. And you don't want to miss out, so hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you will be informed of when I post videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for stopping by.